Introduction In world history, imperialism has been the most powerful force that carved up whole continents while oppressing native people and obliterating entire civilizations. In this chapter, we will learn how this concept was born and what led to its proliferation. Geographical Discoveries and Imperialism The Background Three major events that impacted world history were The American War of Independence the French Revolution and the Industrial Revolution. Imperialism was a result of the Industrial Revolution. The roots of imperialism lie in the royal ambitions of the empires around the world and their tradition of regional pride, expansion of territories and display of the army. Geographical Discoveries in the year 1453, Constantinople or Istanbul was won over by the Ottoman Turks. In the event of growing business but blockage of the terrestrial routes, the Europeans discovered new sea routes to establish trade in the East. Henry, the King of Portugal, encouraged sailing or seafaring. Navigators discovered unknown regions in the world, which in turn led to fierce competition in dominating these new regions. Some of the major discoveries of this period are the sailor's compass, astrolabe, newly designed maps and directive books. Christopher Columbus, John Cabot, Amerigo Vespucci discovered the northern, eastern and central parts of the American continent. Between 1606 and 1732, England set up 13 English colonies in North America. Vasco da Gama's sea route to India. Ferdinand Magellan, the Portuguese sailor, undertook the ambitious task of going around the earth by the sea route. But he was killed during his journey. Nevertheless, Magellan's companions completed his dream project as per the plans. Spain, Portugal, Holland, England and France set up colonies in the newly discovered regions through the adventurous sailing. Thus, England rose to power in this process. The imperialism. The word imperialism has been derived from imperium, a Latin word which means rights or rule. Imperialism can be defined as absolute domination of an undeveloped nation by a developed nation by virtue of establishing a colony. Imperialism was caused by colonialism. The European nations, boosted by Renaissance movement, set up imperial rule in Asia and Africa by the year 1914. Reasons for imperialism There are several reasons for the imperialism which got underway in the 17th century. Some of these reasons are scientific inventions, industrial revolution, scientific development, need for raw material, prosperity of Asia and Africa, rising European nations, ambition of political domination, propagation of religion, trade of slaves and weakness of Asian and African nations. Let's know more about these reasons. Reason 1. Scientific Inventions Imperialism gained momentum due to revolutionary inventions in transportation and communication like steam, power, electricity, coal and iron and modern weapons which fueled monstrous ambition in human beings. Two great scientists of this period were John Kay 
and Wright brothers. Reason 2. Industrial Revolution Industrial revolution boosted modern imperialism. The production of goods became faster and easier. Using machines, due to which nations started venturing beyond their boundaries, seeking new markets. Reason 3. Scientific Development Imperialism heightened due to developed medical treatment in Europe, leading to increase in population and resultant migration of Europeans to Asian and African nations and setting up empires there. Reason 4. Need for raw material. Industrial revolution not only increased production, but also increased need for raw materials, which created a hunger for new markets and new sources of raw materials. In order to capture markets, European nations had to sell products at cheaper prices. For this, they started cutting down production expenditure and purchasing the raw material cheaply from colonies they set up in Asia and Africa. Reason 5 Prosperity of Asia and Africa The Asian and African continents were very rich in natural resources, which were a great attraction for the imperialist European nations. Africa had huge deposits of gold, silver, diamonds, iron and coal, while Asia was rich in spices. Reason 6. Rising European Nations Inspired by England, rising nations like Germany and Italy also started aggressively increasing their colonial power, leading to international conflicts. Thus, adding stimulus to imperialism. Reason 7. Ambition of Political Domination The Imperial European nations fiercely competed with each other to acquire colonies in the name of national pride and fame. As power was associated with number of colonies possessed, they had to strengthen their security systems to win and maintain these colonies. This led to a huge tussle for terrestrial and marine military posts of strategic importance. Reason 8. Propagation of Religion The European nation's white man's religion and culture were superior and therefore propagated Christianity throughout the world. The British put their foot in India with a pair of scales and a copy of the Bible. Establishment of the colonies was followed by the entry of missionaries for the purpose of spreading their religion, which in turn intensified imperialism. Reason 9. Trade of Slaves The powerful European nations had their own dominations in the undeveloped African continent, which also gave rise to slavery. As slaves did a lot of work in return for lower wages only, they were quite useful for the rich capitalists. Thus, the trade of slaves came to have tremendous importance. The requirement of slaves could be answered by colonizing new regions, which became another reason for the growth of imperialism. Reason 10. Weakness of Asian and African Nations Although the nations belonging to the African and Asian continents were comparatively vaster during the period of modern imperial development, they were weaker from political and economic points of view. Having been infected by invasions and feudalism, a great damage was done to the agriculture and business of these nations. The societies too were divided by religions, cults, languages, etc. The European nations, being scientifically stronger, took full advantage of the limitations of these nations in Africa and Asia and brought them under their imperial reign. 
Now that we have seen the important reasons for imperialism, let's understand the meaning of economic imperialism. The economic imperialism. The developed nations stripped the undeveloped nations of their natural resources, making them even more weak. Such economic and political domination was called economic imperialism. England, which was the first to witness industrial revolution, was followed by the other European nations. All these nations flourished and laid the foundation of European capitalist economic system. The 19th century capitalist expansion increased trade and economics, paving way for imperial expansion. However, it also created political, religious and racial domination through economic dominance. Now we come to the last part of this chapter that explains the various forms of imperial domination. Various forms of imperial domination. In order to achieve the imperial objectives, the European nations brought in dominion over the Asian and African continents by different ways. It consisted of imposing political dependence, ensuring security to nations, bringing about compulsory business agreements, creating business monopoly and, if possible, implementation of divide and rule policy. The attempts at propagating the Christian religion in the wake of imperial expansion were underlined by the imposition of the imperial culture on the nations of Asia and Africa. The economic imperialism got further extended after the Industrial Revolution. It consisted of capturing the colonies for the raw materials and selling them in the form of commodities in the colonial markets. Taking possession of the places with military importance. Exploiting the colonies economically. Improving the financial condition of the imperial nations themselves. Imposing restrictions on the colonies and securing concession for their nations.